Solid waste management is one of the most problematic environmental issues. As consumption patterns increase, waste continues to accumulate. From Starbrook Market Square to road corners and trenches, if one looks hard enough, they are sure to find garbage where it is not supposed to be. We reached out to Senior Environmental Officer at the Environmental Protection Agency, Candace Thompson. She described littering as a repulsive habit and the dumping of waste is a dangerous practice. And one of the, 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 the concerns is the use of vagrants. So waste is inevitable, it's a part of our activities and we need to understand how to manage it. But most times people want to, you know, disassociate themselves from waste. So I produce it, but I don't, I, I, I'm not mindful of how it's taken care of. So I can pay a vagrant and I can say, just take this wave. I'm, I'm, I don't even care where the waste goes. And that is what happens a lot, especially um, with businesses and so on, who are not utilizing the waste disposal services, which are available, especially in Georgetown. She explained that there is a high level of ignorance as it relates to environmental consciousness and the negative impact of littering. Some persons litter out of laziness, basically. Um, they're saying that there are no receptacles available. Um, so, and, and for some persons, the receptacles are too far away and they don't want, yes, frivolous reasons like those. They don't want to, to walk with their garbage. Um, for some people, there's this perception, especially those who litter in waterways, that when you throw stuff into the waterway, it disappears, the water takes care of it. Some persons, out of ignorance, you know, some persons literally said that if they, if they don't you know, throw stuff or they don't litter, the persons at the city councils and the NDC and so on wouldn't have jobs. Yes, people said that. The Social Waste Director at the Mayor and City Council is Walter Narine. Awareness, he reasoned, is greatly needed in order for citizens to understand the impact littering has on the environment, animals and marine life. We have to stop littering, stop people from throwing these things up. And some of these, the reason why people litter, I would say some of them reasons are one, the most common one is laziness. Right, they're very lazy to bag the garbage off and have it there collected by the garbage collection collected system. So they divert to just drop it anywhere, throw it anywhere, and they don't give a, give a damn about what the impact that their action could have, not only in this generation but in future generation. Right, so it's something that we really need to talk more about, have more conversation with it. It's still an issue in Guyana because the fact that we can walk down the streets you know, and we can see bottles and packages and, and stuff like that. Um, it's an indication that it's still an issue and there's work to be done. The Kingston Seawall is a river defense set up by the Dutch in 1874 and runs along much of Guyana's coastline. Although its purpose is to protect against the ocean's tides, Guyanese near and far come to enjoy it for recreational purposes with family and friends, but what they leave behind is a constant eyesore. Litter can be seen along the Kingston Beach and around its vicinity almost on a daily basis. Recently, Seawalls and Beyond, a group of nature-loving individuals, have been volunteering their time to spruce up the Kingston area. Coordinator of the group, Dwayne Hackett, said that sometimes after cleaning the area, they accumulate over 40 bags of garbage. The oceans are not a dumping ground. It is, after all, the largest part of nature. 80% of, of life lives in the ocean and we depend upon the ocean, so we need to care for the ocean. And so we do that for the little bit that we can by taking care of the seaside. So we are appealing to people to please don't litter whether you come here or don't dump garbage into waterways. If a person places litter in a public space not intended for garbage collection, then that person would have committed an offense. An individual found guilty of this offense under the litter enforcement regulations is subject to pay the fine of 50,000 Guyana dollars. For the newsroom, I am Sheena Henry.